What's up, kids? How we doing today? Uh, Sean here with another edition of Mostly Metal. Uh, today we're going to be entering Chris Propfy, Prop I believe is how he says his name. Um, his um, YouTube channel, Musically Obsessed, recently hit 1,000 subscribers. Uh, congrats to Chris. Uh, I like his channel quite a bit. He talks about metal, but he also talks about um, some non-metal stuff too, which um, I do as well. I'm a big fan of all genres of music, so I get a lot of... Uh, music recommendations from his site so shout out to him and congrats on reaching a thousand subscribers um, his contest is kiss related um, but the questions are not all around kiss so we'll jump into that here shortly um, <clears throat> it's the 1k iss contest so the 1k is his 1000 subscribers and then the kiss is obviously kiss uh, so he has five questions he wants you to answer which I'm going to do here shortly. A um, little caveat to this. I had some releases I thought would work for some of these questions, but I only had the CD format. Um, I believe he primarily talks about vinyl, and I wanted to kind of respect that. So um, I have done vinyl only for this one, so it may not be uh, the one that I wanted to show, um, but we'll talk about that as I go on. So uh, first up, questions first question one um, what is your favorite kiss album or song if you don't like kiss just pretend that you do uh, so um, I like a lot of older kiss songs um, strutter cold gin uh, parasite deuce uh, even some of the later stuff I think in 92 I don't remember the album but whatever unholy was on I think unholy is a great song probably one of the heaviest songs they've ever written um, let's put the X in sex just kidding that's a terrible song I don't what an awful song I mean it's just the lyrics the, the song itself is just atrocious but we're gonna focus on the good kiss here so I only have a few kiss albums and just happens to be that my favorite kiss song is on and out my own so the album is creatures of the night by kiss and the song that I like is uh, I love it loud um, I always like this album I like the, the purple and the blue color scheme on this throughout I think it looks really cool um, I always like the the creepy eyes on the cover and this album as a whole is not my favorite it's got creatures of the night um, killer war machine and I love it loud that's my all-time favorite kiss song came out in what 82 83 I think is when this came out um, this copy is an original pressing it does have the original uh, inner sleeve although it's beat to hell with uh, the lovely lyrics, you can see the records falling out of the bottom there. It's all ripped up. Um, and then this is the album itself. You can see they have a nice big uh, KISS logo. This is actually in really, really good shape. There's one minor scratch on it. I was lucky to pick it up in a record store for like $5. I don't know why it was so cheap, because it's in really good shape. But uh, yeah, this is probably not my favorite KISS album. I don't know if I have a favorite, because um, I'm not a huge kiss fan like some of these people that have all the kiss memorabilia and whatnot but i love it loud it is my favorite song and it is on creatures of the night uh next question was uh let's see here the song a song title with the word kiss in it uh in chris's video he used uh, the song kiss by prince which i like a lot and i thought about using that in my video but he took it and i don't really own that record anyway so I was trying to stay true to the vinyl community, and uh, I was going to do Thunder Kiss 65 by White Zombie, but I don't own that on vinyl, so I went with Hall & Oates. Uh, Kiss on my list is on this. This is their um, Rock and Soul Part 1 Greatest Hits. Uh, there's the back there. It has pretty much every song on here you all know. Uh, Rich Girl Kiss on my list, You Make My Dreams, Private Eyes, Man Eater. Um, it's all good stuff. Um, they actually released two new songs here. Uh, this came out in 84, I think, but Say It Isn't So and Adult Education, I think, both ended up being hits as well. The only thing this is missing is Out of Touch, which is my all-time favorite Hollow Notes song. But here's the, the inner sleeve, and there's a nice picture of Daryl Hall and John Oates. Um, vinyl there kind of matches the color scheme all around. And then this copy, I picked it up in a record store. 
I don't even remember when. Um, but it came with this insert. I don't know if it came with this copy. I didn't do much research on this album and the innards before I talked about it. But this copy comes with maybe the original insert, which is a Holland Oates calendar in uh, mint condition. Uh, so this, uh, either if it came with the album, that's cool. I'm going to leave it in here. But um, I'm sure some girls put, put that up in their... Uh, Rooms in the 80s, I don't know, were these guys sex symbols? I don't really, I don't know if they were considered sex symbols or not. I'm sure they had their share of ladies back in the day. So, Kiss on my list. Hollow Notes, great song. Uh, number three, show a different band with a member named Peter, Gene, Ace, or Paul. So those are the three members of Kiss, four members of Kiss. Um, this was an easy one for me as soon as I heard Peter. I went straight to one of my favorite bands, Typo Negative. This is the album Slow, Deep, and Hard. Um, this bay informed out of the ashes of Carnivore. Uh, Pete Steele was in Carnivore. And this is the 2014 pressing. I believe this is the first time Slow, Deep, and Hard was pressed on vinyl. Um, I saw on Discogs this is fetching like $85. Uh, it is a dual vinyl. Um, not much to show on the inside. <clears throat> Some of the original innards, if you had the CD version. Um, some of the same pictures, and it looks like this came out in 91, and it was, was reissued in 2014, so. And there's controversy around this cover. Many don't know about it, even some metal heads, but if you go like this, um, this is a um, picture of a sexual penetration. You can use your imagination there, um, but this is the actual way the cover looked. I never saw that before until someone told me uh, a long time ago in the, in the 90s. Like, hey, you know what that cover is? I'm like, nope. Um, this song, the first song I ever heard from them was Unsuccessfully Coping with the Natural Beauty of Infidelity on a college radio station back in the 90s is when I became a fan. And I didn't really understand the, well, I knew what the lyrics meant, but I was like, wow, Pete Steele is so angry at this female, so I don't know what his problem is. Um, and it wasn't females in general, but kind of one he had, was dating. Um, <clears throat> and it wasn't until in my early 20s I went through something very similar um, and that song took on a whole new meaning uh, for me as I'm sure it did for many people um, probably my favorite typo negative Bloody Kisses of course is the one that everyone talks about October Rust was pretty good um, but this is just real raw has that carnivore vibe to it still um, but they did interject some keyboards and some other stuff in here so Slow, Deep, and Heart. Great album. Uh, next question. Uh, show an alternate band known for wearing makeup or costumes. Pretty easy in the metal community, especially if you want to dive into the black metal and the, the corpse paint. Um, you could go the Slipknot route if you're into Slipknot. Um, I went with Ghost. Uh, this is their debut album. What was the name of this? Eponymous? What Opus Eponymous basically stands for self-titled. Uh, if you don't know Ghost, they wear, that's Papa in the middle, and he has his nameless ghouls out here. Um, kind of a genius marketing move uh, that got people talking about Ghost. This is, a, I believe, a reissue. It's a picture disc version of the album. Um, but Papa always wears his Papa outfit. Papa's gone through different iterations with each Ghost album. Then his nameless ghouls... Um, have also rotated, although you wouldn't know it because they wear stuff on stage where you can't see who they are. There was a big legal battle with these guys that were in his band at the time um, and some tour issues and money and blah, 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 blah. Um, so he has some new ghouls touring now, but again, you really wouldn't know who they are. It doesn't really matter much. His band's always been solid. So uh, Tobias Forge, I believe, is who Papa, Papa is right here. So good marketing by Ghost. Um, I didn't like him at first. I thought it was kind of cheesy, and I kind of poo-pooed the whole costume thing. But once I dove into the lyrics and the songs and songwriting, I mean, this has uh, every song on here is good. Um, <clears throat> also, great live band, very theatrical. So yeah, band that wears costumes or makeup. These guys wear both. So I thought this was the most fitting. But it's Ghost. Uh, last but not least, we have um, show an album by any band who has toured with Kiss. So Kiss has been around forever, and I could have picked a lot of different bands for this because I own many albums by Judas Priest, ACDC, 
Anthrax, Blue Oyster Cult, uh, the list goes on of bands that have toured uh, and opened for KISS. But I went with um, Rammstein. Uh, this is their self-titled album from 2019, I believe. Um, it was their first album in 10 years, self-titled, if I didn't say that already. Um, this is a double <coughs> double album. Uh, Rammstein toured with Kiss in 1999 on the Psycho Circus Tour. I can only imagine what that show was like with Rammstein opening for Kiss. If you've never seen Rammstein live or on YouTube or something, it is... Uh, I suggest you go see them live when you can. Um, there's fire, there's pyrotechnics, there's simulated sex on stage. Um, I'm surprised Kiss never had simulated sex on stage with all of the uh, sexual talk and innuendos in their music, um, but I won't give the details out. You can look it up for yourself. Um, Rammstein has a little different take on their simulated sex. Um, I don't know if you can see that on YouTube. I'm sure they censor it, but um, this is a pretty good album, the song Radio. Uh, came out, and I think the song Sex, there was one of these songs had a video that was very uh, offensive to many people, had some sex acts in it, or simulated sex acts, but I like the cover just because it's plain white and just has a match, so kind of um, insinuating, hey, <clears throat> there's a match here, all we need is a spark to, to set things on fire, so um, yeah, Rammstein toured and opened for Kiss in 1999, wish I would have seen that, and that is it. For Chris's contest. I want to uh, thank him for running the contest, thank him for his channel. Um, like and subscribe below to his channel um, and mine if you're so inclined. And again, congrats to Chris. Love your channel, keep it up, and hope to um, see you hit 2,000 subscribers. So thanks guys for checking out the channel, checking out the video, check out Chris. Catch y'all later.